Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be exploring an intriguing study that examines the effects of creatine supplementation in naturally menstruating females, particularly within the context of resistance training. This 2024 research by Cruz and colleagues reveals how creatine could enhance recovery by improving our sleep quality. So let's dive in and take a closer look. Creatine is a compound that our bodies naturally produce in the liver and the brain using amino acids arginine, glycine, and methionine. We also obtain creatine from our diet, mainly from animal protein sources like red meat and seafood. Interestingly, only about 5% of our total body creatine stores are found in the brain, but supplementation can help boost these levels. So let's explore how this works. Research indicates that creatine supplementation can cross the blood-brain barrier, which is great news for brain health and function. Studies using MRI suggest that creatine may enhance cognitive processes, particularly during times of sleep deprivation, and this could potentially affect both the quality and quantity of sleep. Despite these benefits, it's essential to recognize that women generally store 70 to 80% less creatine than men. The difference is partly due to a lower dietary intake, often because of less red meat consumption. Furthermore, young adult women tend to experience more significant sleep disturbances compared to men, which may be connected to the hormonal fluctuations during the menstrual cycle. Research has shown that various phases of the menstrual cycle can influence sleep quality, although there's still a debate about their effect on sleep continuity. A study by Al Zuda and colleagues in 2022 found that sleep patterns didn't significantly differ across the menstrual cycle phases. This suggests that while sleep may fluctuate throughout the cycle, the impact of creatine supplementation on sleep in women remains uncertain. Now let's dive into the resistance training. Resistance training is widely recognized for its benefits on muscular strength and body composition, and these advantages could be further amplified with creatine supplementation. We also know that resistance training can enhance both sleep quality and duration. With these factors in mind, the primary aim of the current study was to examine the effects of creatine supplementation alongside resistance training on sleep in naturally menstruating premenopausal females. The researchers hypothesized that creatine would improve sleep quality more effectively than resistance training alone. They also sought to determine whether creatine supplementation would lead to greater gains in lean muscle tissue, increased muscle strength, and reduced fat mass compared to a placebo group. The study included 21 participants, all naturally menstruating women who had not previously engaged in regular resistance training. It employed a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled design over a six-week intervention period. The participants were carefully matched based on their body weight, physical activity levels, and dietary protein intake before randomly being assigned to either the creatine or the placebo group. To ensure consistency, all participants adhered to a standardized resistance training program throughout the study. The resistance training program consisted of twice weekly sessions utilizing a tonal resistance training device, which is a wall-mounted system that employs electromagnetic resistance. The participants engaged in full body workouts lasting between 35 to 47 minutes. The initial four sessions were classified as beginner level, while the subsequent sessions advanced towards an intermediate. This structured approach enabled participants to progressively build their strength, all under the direct supervision of a trained researcher. To evaluate the primary outcomes, the researchers utilized the Aura Ring to measure sleep quantity and quality, tracking various sleep stages and providing daily insights into their sleeping patterns. Alongside these sleep assessments, participants completed pre- and post-intervention evaluations, which included a comprehensive health questionnaire, dietary analysis, body composition measurements through a DEXA and bioelectrical impedance, and finally, muscular strength testing on the tonal device. The creatine supplementation consisted of 5 grams of creatine taken on weekdays, while the placebo group used a starch-based placebo that looked identical to ensure neither group could tell which supplement they were using. To promote adherence to the regimen, participants were instructed to document their supplement intake by sending photos and videos as proof of consumption. Now let's dive into the findings. The study showed that creatine supplementation significantly increased total sleep duration on resistance training days compared to non-training days. 
days. Specifically, participants who took creatine averaged about 30 extra minutes of sleep after their workouts. This is especially important since both sleep quality and quantity play a vital role in recovery and athletic performance. While the study did confirm improvements in sleep quality associated with creatine supplementation, as I would have expected, it did not find any significant differences in body composition or strength when compared to the placebo group. So why might creatine enhance sleep? Well, creatine plays a vital role in energy production, not just in the muscle cells, but potentially in the brain as well. By replenishing energy stores during intense workouts, creatine may aid in recovery, which can lead to improved sleep quality. Additionally, some research indicates that creatine might influence the neurotransmitters that regulate sleep, further supporting its potential benefits for sleep duration. While these findings are indeed compelling, there are a few important limitations to keep in mind. The six-week duration of the intervention may not have been long enough to achieve complete saturation of creatine stores, which typically takes about 28 days. This could impact both body composition results and the overall evaluation of sleep-related benefits. Moreover, utilizing B-mode ultrasound or MRI might have provided more accurate insights into detecting changes in body composition, as a DEXA is not as precise as identifying site-specific muscle growth. Future research might benefit from incorporating loading phases of creatine supplementation and exploring higher dosages to fully maximize the potential effects of brain function and sleep quality. In summary, the research conducted by Cruz and colleagues in 2024 offers compelling evidence that creatine supplementation can enhance sleep duration for naturally menstruating females engaged in resistance training. However, further extensive research is essential to fully grasp the implications for body composition and strength adaptations, especially concerning the most effective supplementation protocols. There you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you have any questions about today's topic, feel free to leave me a comment below. Of course, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're interested in personalized coaching, then check out the details on my website linked in the description below. I'll see you next time.